Well, we're making over thrift store fashions today with this savvy shopper and blogger who can see the potential in an outdated piece that somebody else has given away. Elizabeth Donaldson is going to show us some amazing befores and afters of garments that she has transformed from local thrift stores. Great to have you with us. Thank you. It's so great to be here. We've been shopping together before. In we fact, have. you bought this, I bought this we last did. time we shopped, which was really fun. Agreed. And you can look at pieces that are just I mean, that anybody else would say, that is so awful. <laughs> it's and, my magic skill. Yeah, but you see the potential in it. I them. do. I yeah. do. Yeah, that wild childhood imagination has served me well. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at a picture of one of the things that we bought the last time we were shopping. Yes. This wild sunflower dress. I mean, you can pull this look off, but you saw in this potential to be something much different. Absolutely. Well, this started out as very like 90s-tastic. Reality Bites, remember yeah. if you were alive in the 90s sure, and sure. fashion, sunflowers were all the rage. But it just doesn't look good the yeah. way it was. Maxi vests are all the rage, and this is a simple DIY that you can do. Literally, you don't even need a sewing machine to do this. You could do it in about a half an hour to an hour. You just slice it down the middle, hem in the sides, and you've got a great, adorable piece. So. That's so cute. And even if you don't sew, you could use that um, fusible bonding mm -hmm. tape that you iron. Absolutely. You can so. use the tape. You can hand sew it. It's just very doable. You and just need a little imagination. Trends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cute. Yeah, that pattern's amazing. So. I love it. Yeah. You've got your friends modeling for you. I do. Uh, yeah. This is Shayla. Shayla's a dear friend of mine, an incredible person and she just looks awesome. I this. think you do too. Yeah. Thank you, Shayla. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at our next outfit. And this one I would have totally passed over in the thrift store, but you saw potential in this one too. Yes, this with the way that it was, it essentially looks like bad grandmother wear. Yeah. Um, this is a really easy um, DIY and uh, Maya's wearing this. She looks so amazing. I saw the pockets, I love the buttons, I loved the fabric. And all I did was give it a haircut. Yeah. Right? Where you just give it a hem and tuck it under, and then I just cut off the sleeves in sort of like a fashionable way. Mm -hmm. And now it's so adorable. It looks great on her, and yeah. I bet it looks good on you too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you could wear it to a wedding, you could wear it to a dinner, and it was about $4 at Goodwill. And wow. look at it now. That's really cute. Yeah, thank you. Really nice. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much. All right, check this out. Who would think a pillowcase could be turned into a cute outfit? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but I just, I love this fabric, right? You have a pillowcase, which you can get for a dollar at Goodwill or a lot of other thrift stores. This has this super cool retro fabric with those like seagulls on there. I just loved it. And yeah. so that is another really easy one. You just basically flip it on its side and you cut it out um, and you can add some modifications. I mean, it's a great for a t-shirt. You can turn that into whatever you want. And then look at Mallory who's a beautiful mama, look at her go. <laughs> that looks so cute. Yeah, and a midriff top, if you can pull it off the way Mallory does, I mean, super cute. Absolutely, and if you need a little more length, you can just add another strip of fabric to the bottom. Mm -hmm. You can really adjust these things. It's sewing, so you adjust it to fit your own body type, which yeah. is great. That's great, thank you, Mallory. Thank you. All right, this last one, um, Again, if I had seen this in the store, I would have said there is no way you could remake this because there was so much voluminous fabric there. <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't see the potential, but I you agree. did. I agree. This. Yes, this is, was one of the wild dresses on my blog. There's a whole wild video where you can really add a lot of fun with the before of this one because it was very 80s-tastic. It was just outrageous. But I loved this dress, you know, that just had so much potential in the waistband and I just figured I can turn it into a simple top yeah. that it would look wonderful. This is a more of a complicated do-over. Yeah, so, so you have is, to be able to really sew to do this. Yeah, you have to be a bit more advanced, but still, it's not too difficult. And Allison, who's another one of our beautiful mamas, wears it so well. That's really cute. So you yeah. just took off the big old shoulder pads and the giant sleeves yes. and a lot of the volume around the, the bodice area. There was so much fabric on the top, you could have made yeah. like a whole other thing with it. So. I love it. Yeah. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, let's take a look at all the befores and afters one more time. Some remarkable transformations. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Thank you really so much. Really appreciate it. Pleasure to be here. If you'd like to see more of Elizabeth's work and hear about her thrifting adventures, you can check out her website. It's called 365daysofthrift.com.